Good afternoon, everyone. I hope this video finds you well. I'm broadcasting you live from beautiful Atlantic City on the northern end on this wonderful Sunday evening. And today, I bring you my full in-depth review of the Ride One Up Core 5 commuter style electric bicycle. The Ride One Up Core 5 is an affordably priced and feature-packed Class 3 commuter style electric bicycle. This features and specifications, putting it in the same class with bikes made by Aventon, such as the Solterra and the Pace 500. It is constructed of 6061 aluminum, which is the standard and high quality e bikes these days. It comes in two, two designs, high step or step through, with step through being shown here. It features a rigid front fork that is also made of steel and has the battery integrated into the frame, which is becoming a new standard for commuter style bicycles. Uh, it's called the Stealth E-Bike Look, where they conceal the wiring and the battery side of the frame so that you don't get any trouble when you're trying to put your bike on mass transit. The Core 5 sits on 27 and a half inch wheels. They are double walled and e-bike rated. And it also features stainless steel spokes also on the front and rear. Uh, it also features a 27 and a half inch diameter by 2.2 inch sidewall Kenna Quick 7 drumlet tires. They are puncture resistant and they are also e-bike rated and are standard equipment on many high quality electric bikes that are on the market right now. Brakes are Tektro mechanical disc with 160 millimeter rotors also on the front and rear uh, that also feature motor inhibitors that are incorporated into the computer system and on the front brake handles that are meant to cut power to the electric motor in case you have to come to an emergency stop. Spokes are stainless steel on the front and rear. Uh, they are 12 gauge on the front and they are 13 gauges in the rear. The drivetrain consists of the Shimano Hyperglide 7 speed cassette with a range of 11 to 32 uh, front, 11 to 32 teeth uh, to give you an ultra high torque first gear for those stops from the starts from zero. The derailleur is the Shimano Altus, which is a decent. Uh, price point derailleur for uh, a bike of uh, this class. Uh, it is pretty much the mid-level equipment for a commuter style electric bike. It is connected to the front chain ring, which has 44 teeth, which is connected to 170 millimeter crank arms. And we also feature Nico alloy aluminum pedals on both sides instead of the normal plastic ones that a lot of manufacturers would use. Power is delivered by a 750 watt Sustained 1000 watt peak brushless and hub motor that is made by Sinji, who is the same manufacturer for all of the Aventon electric bike motors, with the exception of the Adventure, which I believe is manufactured by Bafang. Power is generated by a 40 volt, 10 and a half amp hour Samsung lithium ion battery for a total output of 504 watt hours. The battery also features an onboard uh, status indicator light, but instead of using that, just look at the battery indicator that comes on the control module here. The Core 5 features again the uh, stealth look, meaning that the battery is integrated into place. It is also key locked and easy to remove. The Core 5 features a Promax seat post that measures 31.6 millimeters in diameter and also has a total depth of 350 millimeters and its angle adjustable at the top. The Core 5 features integrated bosses for mounting a bottle holder on the uh, middle post, as well as mounting uh, a rear rack and optional fenders for uh, the total cruiser style package. The key display systems are very, are very versatile and again allow you to precision tune your system to pretty much your individual preferences. They all default from a start from the factory with zero to five pedal modes. These are the pedal assists for the uh, electric output to uh, the electric motor in the rear. I personally, with all of the key display bikes that I've owned, would turn the system up to nine modes. This doesn't actually allow, the, this doesn't do anything to multiply your output. What it does is that it breaks down the output of the battery from its uh, lowest point to its highest point into more manageable pieces. And you can dial in exactly how much battery power you want these pieces to be. Uh, I typically try and start it at around 25% of the battery and then I just step it up uh, to intervals of 10% at a time. Uh, I actually am making the tutorial video about how to do this because I have done this with uh, previous bikes that I've had in the past with the uh, key display system. 
so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, basic system settings for the KD21 CR as follows. Uh, you have your power button here to uh, power the system or off. Uh, you have your up and down arrows to control the uh, level of pedal assist. Uh, you also have a backlight in here for uh, nighttime riding. Uh, you press and hold the out button and for a couple seconds until it comes on. And you press it and hold it again until it turns off. Uh, you also have uh, a little controller for the, uh, for the backlight here. Uh, it has three levels, one, two, and three. I typically like to keep all mine at one because it's a little bit too bright at night. You also have your uh, units here. Uh, one is for standard and two is for metric. I'm not going to switch it to metric. And your last little sub media setting here is for your trip computer. Uh, the N is to uh, leave it the way it is and Y is to reset it. Uh, I already set mine earlier, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And press the power button to go back to green screen. Uh, your menu sub settings uh, for your basics are here. You have your odometer screen. As you can see, the bike has 407 miles on it. Uh, I've been riding it quite a bit, really, to uh, get a good feel of it. Uh, you press the power button one time again. It switches you to your trip monitor. Uh, again, I had already reset my trip computer, so it says zero miles. Uh, you have your riding time here, zero minutes. Uh, being that I just turned the bike off and turned it back on again, it says zero minutes. But it does count your ride time as long as you're moving. Uh, we're not moving right now, so there's no ride time. Press it again. Probably my favorite setting of all here, the watt output. This gives you a live reading of exactly how many watts you're using from the motor as you're riding. Whether you're using just the throttle or whether you're using pedal assist, uh, we'll show you right here. We'll just uh, kick some kick some power to the uh, rear, uh, rear wheel for a minute, and it'll show you a live it'll show you a live output of how many watts you're using. After that, we have the max amount of speed, as you can see, since we just turned the power all the way up. Uh, we got the back wheel up to 31 miles per hour, and we have the average speed while the wheel was spinning. It calculated an average of 22.7 miles per hour. Again, pretty versatile, uh, well equipped, uh, especially for a bike this price point. Uh, definitely one of my favorite features about the R1 lineup. Overall impressions are excellent. Uh, as you can see from earlier, I've put 400 miles on the bike so far and I've been using it pretty regularly. Uh, the bike is very sturdy. Uh, it's easy to board due to a little step through. Uh, the rear mounted kickstand, again, makes it especially convenient when trying to put it in a tight place. Uh, for the amount of features and for the components that it's made out of, uh, you really can't ask for anything better for this price range. Uh, there aren't many, if any, uh, entry-level class three electric bikes, uh, especially with this kind of equipment. Uh, the bike is sturdy, uh, it's pretty nice, uh, pretty light. Uh, you really can't tell that the uh, battery is only 10 and a half amp hours. I can say I've probably been able to average anywhere from 35 to 45 miles on it. 
and surprisingly it has an incredibly long range for the throttle setting uh, especially if you uh, are the kind who doesn't like to pedal and wear yourself out um, you would think that it was maybe a 13 or a 14 amp hour battery with the amount of performance you get out of it but overall um, I give the ride one up uh, an overwhelmingly uh, positive review uh, they have a spring sale now so please uh, check out the website and uh, stay tuned for more That's going to wrap my review of the Ride One Up Core 5 Class 3 commuter style electric bicycle. Uh, if you are interested in this bike or any other Ride One Up products, there is a link in the description to their online store. I believe I mentioned that they are having a spring sale, so I would get mine in as soon as you could uh, due to the market value and the uh, increasing price of electric bikes these days. There really couldn't be a better deal in the market right now. If you are in the Atlantic Cape Bay region, uh, please check out uh, 4 Bicycle Shop. That's Ford Bicycle Shop on the corner of Vendor and Little Rock in Vendor City, New Jersey. And if you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe as there are other videos coming out and other great content that I have already posted. And uh, have a great day.